everyone. Welcome to Catholic on Tampa Online. This great Friday morning. I'm, an, I'm Bill Carlson. I'm going to hand off to Della Costa to introduce the speakers. Thank you, Bill, and good morning to the entire uh, Cafe Con Tampa community and good health to everyone. Today's program is rather interesting. Uh, econ uh, the topic is international economic development, the partnership between the Florida Israeli, Israeli, Florida Israeli Business Accelerator, it's early, University of South Florida, Tel Aviv University. Today we have four guests. I'm going to introduce our first guest, and he's going to introduce our other guests. Uh, David Shear, a local real estate investor and community leader. David is going to introduce our other speakers and take us away. Good morning, David. Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for, for having us on your, on your uh, uh, cast. Uh, you may be wondering what a uh, real estate investor or developer has to do with this austere group we have with us today. Well, um, I was ideally situated about a year and a half ago, um, being one of the founders of uh, a Florida Israel Business Accelerator. And my family is a, a big supporter of, of the University of South Florida. And I'm on the board of governors of Tel Aviv University. And it came to me that wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a collaboration that uh, ended up being a feeder to market through Florida Israel Business Accelerator. And so came the concept of a partnership of a, or a memorandum of understanding. Uh, we dug deep into both uh, USF and um, Tel Aviv University to find out what the commonalities were and found out that they were very young universities. They both had a huge drive towards technology and especially aging technology. And we zoomed in on the technology and uh, process of aging, which of course, uh, even now today with COVID is uh, so much relevant. Um, and of course, uh, uh, it's only been a year and a half in the making and we're very uh, infant in our, in our process, but we're, we're making strides. And, and Mira Kalish, who is the Director of International Affairs at Tel Aviv University is with us today. Um, Mike Bloom, Dr. Mike Bloom is the AVP of Corporate Partnerships at USF. And Rachel Feynman is the executive director of the Florida Israel Business Accelerator. So with that, let's go. Great, well, you just explained the, the whole thing. I wanna uh, welcome Mira who's calling in from um, Tel Aviv Live. Uh, thank you so much. I think it's uh, like late afternoon or something there, right? Thank you for doing this. So yeah, I think you're our first international uh, interviewee from overseas. So thank you so much. And you said you're, you uh, you live on the coastline, I think. Tell us about that. Um, first of all, it's uh, you, you talked about Friday. So this time, uh, you know, uh, a good morning to everybody. And as you said, good afternoon on Friday. And Friday is a very special, peaceful and restful place and time here. So uh, I'm really, really feel honored and privileged to be with you. Uh, and especially on this very timely topic, the aging. Great, thank you. And just another uh, point for uh, our Catholic on Tampa viewers. Um, if you're watching this live, please, uh, you're welcome to post questions underneath the feed if you're watching on your phone or, or to the right if you're watching on your PC. And please, we do this as a community service, so please uh, share it in your Facebook feed or on groups that you're involved in so that uh, the public can see. Um, anybody else want to jump in? What what kind of um, research are you all doing in regard to aging? Uh, anything innovative that you can talk about? Well, um, I'll, I'll jump in there for, for a minute. And again, thank you for inviting us to David and Rachel and, and Mira. Um, you know, as David was, was saying, the universities, Tel Aviv University and USF are very similar. Both, both born in 1956 both really top research universities. Um, the one example I wanna give of an actual collaboration that's been going on since we signed our MOU last year is with two of our engineering professors, Dr. Carla Vanderweerd and Dr. Ali Elchin, who are doing very interesting work um, uh, in, uh, in, again, healthy aging and monitoring um, uh, the elderly at home and uh, as well as other healthy aging initiatives. And they took graduate students to Tel Aviv University last summer. And they're actually working with two companies that came out of Tel Aviv University's accelerator, uh, Extend and Elminda. 
So uh, those collaborations are very active. I want to make it clear that it's not only an MOU that's signed, but there's active work between our researchers and companies, and hopefully also with the Florida Israel Business Accelerator, as uh, the companies actually come uh, to uh, Central Florida. Uh, the other thing that um, I had wanted to mention, uh, which just <laughs> escaped my mind, was um, uh, I'll leave it to uh, Mira. If she, oh, I know what I was going to say. So the other thing that this is really important and also relates to what David said in terms of aging um, at the top and COVID was that uh, Mira and I either talk or email almost on a weekly, if not sometimes daily basis. USF is doing top research now in responding to COVID. We've uh, We've invested more, almost a million dollars in rapid response grants in, uh, for COVID across the scientific spectrum. Uh, in addition, uh, Tel Aviv University is doing a very similar thing, and Mira can talk about that. And we're looking at how we can collaborate. We're now looking at researchers at both USF and Tel Aviv University, and looking how we can quickly uh, get some collaborations going to help with the impact of COVID, especially on the elderly, both in Tampa and in Israel. Mike, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think you're, a lot of your job or your primary job is corporate partnerships, right? So you, uh, companies, lots of companies from all around the world want to partner with USF, and so you yeah. help facilitate those. I do help facilitate that. I'm also uh, vice chair of our uh, pandemic response research network um, because the collaborations with industry are crucial. It's not government acting alone. It's not universities acting alone. It's, it's, it's industry, universities, government, organizations working together. That's the only way we're gonna be able to have any impact. And Rachel, I, I wanna ask you a question uh, on your research, which is very interesting uh, on COVID and the aging. Are you focusing in on the mental health, the uh, physical health or both? Yes and yes. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Literally everything from issues of manufacturing to uh, uh, so well-being, emotional, behavioral, uh, uh, psychological well-being to basic science, clinical science. Um, we're looking at information and using data analytics to be able to monitor, uh, you know, in real time, uh, the spread of COVID, et cetera. So it's literally transdisciplinary. And Rachel, do you want to tell us about FIBA real fast too? Sure. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Thank you. Um, so, you know, I head up an organization called called FIBA. We're located right here in Tampa, the Brian Glazer Family JCC. We have um, a statewide footprint, however, we work across the state um, and our sole uh, or I would say our primary purpose really is uh, serving as a connector. So specifically for the kind of companies that are coming out of partnership between USF um, and Tel Aviv University, as well as a number of FIBA participating companies that have spent a lot of time here in Florida as part of our program um, have come out of the Tel Aviv University. Uh, we have a very close relationship, not just with Mira, but also with um, the venture group within Tel Aviv University and, and others. So, you know, our, our hope is to really leverage Israeli technology, not just in healthy aging, but across the spectrum, um, to you know, make a strong economic impact here in our community. Um, and one thing I wanted to touch on, Mike, you mentioned Elminda and Extend, two of the companies that are part of this uh, partnership, if you will. But I think, um, and I certainly won't do it justice, but but people always like to hear about the cool technologies that we're working with. And Elminda is particularly interesting, and they've been for a few years now um, at the villages. Um, here in Florida because of their focus on the aging population. And really what they do is a fascinating way of mapping the brain um, to detect very early on and in ways that other technology cannot, um, things like dementia, Alzheimer's, um, but also things that don't just affect the elderly population like depression, et cetera. So for anyone who suffered from um, any, of these, any of these illnesses understands that, um, you know, the process of therapy, of medication, everything else can be extremely challenging. And what they've been able to do is short circuit a lot of that process to understand exactly what medications are needed, 
how the, how they should be dosed and see immediate results in terms of how that's working. So that's just one example. Um, another exciting example of a company that FIBA has worked with recently that actually um, they just hired a, a local person here in Tampa which we're really excited about is a company called Uniper Care, and they're also in the aging space. And you know, Dell, to your point about addressing the issues of COVID and how it affects not just physical health but mental health, that's been extremely hard on our aging population. Um, everybody knows that that's a population that's been, um, you know, been been very very isolated, even more than others. And Uniper Care has a really exciting technology that they can put into. Um, nursing homes, as well as individual homes to connect um, communities. So elderly folks now who were maybe going down from their rooms and assisted living facilities to play games or have their, you know, morning chat with friends can all do that now just through um, a very simple solution that makes their TV a smart TV. So you're talking about kind of the greatest generation of folks who are not you know, on their smartphones all the time, like we are logging into Facebook and all of those things. And with a very, very simple solution, they have been able to improve their quality of life significantly. And that company is very active here in Florida and something that we're proud of. Yeah, one of the things we want to do is talk more about international economic development. And obviously, Israel is a really important uh, partner. And David helped us set up a, a conversation with the consulate in Miami a couple weeks ago that was really interesting. And we're hoping to have you know, lots of other ambassadors and consulates and others. But Mira, since you're there live from yeah, Tel Aviv, I, I, I tell I us what you're doing. In. Tell us about I, your I, research I, and what you're I, doing. I want, I want to jump in uh, very related to what uh, Michael and uh, Ken said. Uh, and uh, I will just give you a brief of, uh, along with what Michael said, the special thing uh, at the university is really the broad band of area that, uh, that this campus has, um, you know, almost all area of science. So in January uh, 2018, we, uh, I hope you will be able to see, we initiated this Healthy Aging Initiative um, I did the first symposium and we had people coming from all over the world to this uh, symposia. And we were touching base almost all area of science from art and psychology and philosophy to um, health um, to, to uh, new 3D heart printing and up to engineering and economics. Uh, really it was a very broad discussion and it was live transmitted and 29 um, universities approached us just because we produced it live. And, and that's what you said about international. Uh, and then we started to work and we had 87 uh, PIs in Tel Aviv just uh, internally meeting for aging. And then on March 14, uh, 19, we had the second meeting um, bringing not only United States and Europe and uh, and Australia and uh, even Alaska, but all over the world, people came just to join. And I would just give you one anecdote because we had uh, a lot of lectures and actually everybody of you can listen to all these lectures because it's on the internet. We will be happy to send you the link and you can sit and listen to all the lectures. But one special thing that was there that we had engineering and we had equipment and we had a uh, cyber smart home, uh, cyber security. And also uh, we had one of our professor, Manuel Trachtenberg, who said that aging doesn't start in 65, but rather on day one. And he's economist. But more than that, uh, we joined all forces, uh, lots of American universities, head of the AAA, the president, and so on, joining us. And this is really uh, to converge all knowledge, expertise, and technologies from all point of view. And just to jump, because you asked me about international, um, just nowadays, on June 2, because this topic is so relevant, just imagine that Tel Aviv was the bridge, or me, between the EU and the NSF centers. And we had a meeting uh, between two NSF centers that I'm part in, 
and the Human Brain Project that uh, Raquel just mentioned, the Human Brain. Um, uh, and we were trying for uh, five and a half hours to create and to focus on the vulnerable group, on the aging and the pediatric. And underneath that were four trusts, again, along you, what you said. Uh, one was a medical informatic platform trying to share across continent, across countries, across hospital in a safe way, in a secured way, uh, towards uh, the COVID to see how, what can we learn? And also on neurorobotics, for example, because we know nowadays that also the survivors have some muscle and motor and brain problems. So all that was, and we now have um, a joint venture, I hope, between the NSF and the EU with Israel or Tel Aviv in the middle, uh, trying to create project and we have already um, a lot of project coming up and even funded. And in this venture, after five and a half hours, we still had 79 people from all over Europe and the United States. So we can make the change and it's very, very timely. Uh, not only because of the COVID and not only because of the problem of the aging, because another point that I wanna bring on table, because we understand now the connection between the pollution and the climate change and the aging problem and the brain problem. And you know that the COVID started in two of the most polluted places. And so the last thing that we are now combining is a very special place in Israel that is the Dead Sea. And um, it's less polluted. It's very, very special in the ingredients, 6% more oxygen, uh, aerosols for relaxing and many, many other things, especially for aging a very good beta site. And we did it with the COVID. And there was not even one case of COVID there. Not because they were the people, you know, it's, it's a different story. It's not only the weather there, but, but just in case um, we will find something. So we established a, a research center at the Dead Sea and we are doing special program for aging, for breathing, for heart intervention, for diabetes, elderly diabetes, for blood pressure and, um, you know, paraplex and all that. And also now going for a special um, macrobiome regarding the COVID. So, you know, we have to join forces, not only in all area, but in all uh, understandings that we can create. How can we get a lesson from nature? How could we adjust accordingly and to survive? Peter, I want to ask you a question. What is, um, what is the reason that Tel Aviv University would want to partner with uh, USF, FIBA, and with the Tampa area in Florida. What, what do you hope to gain or learn by a partnership with this area in particular? First of all, any collaboration is a spiritual. When you have the right leaders, when you have the right people that are eager to do that, um, this is, I think we, we, are, we have the special thing, which the eagerness to do things and to change the world. For example, we are having just a project now on smart homes. And it's wonderful, you know, Raquel just mentioned some of these. So if we have the right partners and the right, um, should I say eager partners to collaborate in enough experience and innovation, we can make a change. And there are not so many people. A lot of people are just coming to learn from us not really to collaborate for us and change the world together. And Mike, oh. could I ask you the same question? Um, I know you partner with uh, universities all around the world, but what in particular could uh, the Tampa area learn from Tel Aviv University? I think that um, the Tampa area itself, and I, I moved down here three years ago because of everything that was going on here because of USF status as a, an innovation, frankly, is one of the, the top uh, 10 uh, uh, most uh, patented uh, universities in the country and, and in the top 20 in the world. So we are really a hotbed. The entire city is a hotbed of innovation. 
actually in terms of, of, of what we're doing. Um, and when you match that, and, and, and you look at FIBA, by the way, in terms of what FIBA is doing and, and in terms of bringing the startup nation in Israel and Tel Aviv, and Tel Aviv University at the forefront of innovation and entrepreneurship. And you have an, an entrepreneurial organization like FIBA that's also making those connections. It's a complete win-win. It's a match between the innovation and entrepreneurial uh, spirit of Israel, of Tel Aviv, and of Tampa, and, and of the entire state of Florida. I want to also mention, by the way, the Florida High Tech Corridor Council and their work, et cetera, um, that's been, been involved in helping to fund some of the, this work. Um, so that's the basic issue. You're talking about a match, an eager match. You're talking about the expertise. Everything that Mira was saying, she was talking about her colloquium. We had a corporate forum on aging te technology. One of our research hubs in our pandemic response research network is on, uh, is on microbiome. I mean, we're, we talk the same language. You know, I know it's Hebrew and English, but we do talk the same language of innovation. And that's why I think our but the Tampa Bay and Tel Aviv are joined at the hip. And, and we just discover more things on a daily basis in those connections. That's great. And Rachel, the, the same thing, I know you partner with lots of uh, different companies and organizations in Israel, but in particular, what, what is it about Tel Aviv University and maybe the issue of aging that you think is uh, particularly important for partnering? Uh, well, I think there, there are two questions kind of in there. The first one that I wanted to mention is you had asked about international development and why this region, um, you know, I, I think one of the things that FIBA always has in mind is where, where is Florida or more specifically Tampa Bay um, unique when it comes to, you know, when you, cause when you talk about international and, and, and a country like Israel, that is frankly, it's very sought after um, in terms of its leadership around innovation. You know, we have to do a little bit of, uh, you know, of relationship building and, and telling our unique story here. And so specifically with aging and some of the other industries that FIBA focuses on, we try to do that in an area where, like Mike said, we can identify those mutually beneficial wins where we know we have something to offer. Um, and in, you know, in Florida, particularly when you look at research, Israel is a fairly homogeneous country of about 8 million people. Let that sink in. That size is, um, you know, is nothing compared to, to the size of Florida. And frankly, even the kind of hill, the, the Tampa Bay metro area, relatively speaking. So what, what they, they may have is some amazing innovation, which we have as well at USF and otherwise, but we also have a population when it comes to, to research. And when it comes to commercialization, we have something that they don't have, which is a market, uh, a market of a significant size that they don't have in Israel. Um, but we try to focus on those industries where we believe Tampa specifically has a competitive advantage and given our strong um, our strong hospitals, just the nature of our aging population here. Um, aging is, it makes a lot of sense. Other areas that we focus on um, for those same reasons at FIBA uh, would be cybersecurity or secure tech in general, um, urban tech, which kind of encompasses smart cities like Mira mentioned and, and property tech, because obviously real estate is big business here in, in Florida. Um, and lastly, you know, broader than just aging, we focus on health tech generally, and we have some amazing partnerships with, uh, with the hospitals here, including uh, Tampa General and, um, and Baycare and HCA. So, so that, that really is our goal. If from an international development standpoint, I think if anyone here is, who's listening is thinking about, you know, forget about Israel, but other countries or other places, you really have to map and identify your strengths regionally and then find those partners that are willing to engage um, and have mutual benefits for doing so. We have one question from the floor. Um, I'll just read it. It says, I'm wondering if any of you are doing anything about arthritis, which is debilitating to the elderly, i.e. balance and strength. Is there work being done on regrowing our own genetically identical joints for replacement? Interesting. I would have to, uh, uh, let me jump in there. So I'm a dilettante, non-denominational dilettante. So one day I'm working on connecting companies in, in cybersecurity, uh, you know, where healthcare is, is uh, 
Rachel was talking about uh, another day I'm dealing with flexible electronics. So I, didn't, I know a little bit of a lot of things. What I do know how to do well is to do a deep dive. So what I will do is I will look at that, I will check on that, and I will get back if there's a way for me to respond to the person who asked the question, I would gladly follow through with information. Yeah, you all can, can uh, and Mira mentioned some of the research that she's doing too, you all can go underneath this feed on uh, Cafe on Tampa's Facebook page and just post whatever links you think were appropriate, whatever documents. Mira, you wanna say something? Yeah, I, I just I just wanted uh, to mention things. We have at the university, I know at least three groups that are working on related things. But you know, um, as Raquel said earlier, I, I'm trying to distinguish between the basic research that we publish and we do, and when it's ready for translational and so on. Therefore, again, like Michael said, I will forward and I can send because I wanna be accurate with the name and ask them if we can share and so on. But yes, we have. But this is, as I said, at the academic. But what I wanted to mention further following uh, Raquel and, and uh, Michael is that um, the thing is uh, once, for example, I mentioned the NSF centers that are joint university academia but they are not as eager. We are pushing them to go to the startup, to go to the translational, much more than, than uh, even though the industries are around there. So sometimes, as I said, it's something, it's a joint, it's a, it's a spirit and the complementary, I think, and the competitive adventures, the complementary between Tel Aviv and, and, uh, and your Bay Area and so on, is that um, we are eager to run, to bring it to the public, to pay back to society. And this is our duty. This is the reason I'm in the academia. Mira, 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 yeah. Mira. <clears throat> just dealing with the, the last question that uh, Bill answered, I think that, uh, and maybe this can be offline, um, Tel Aviv University, and, and I happen to know this because I, I I watch very carefully, um, just getting a little younger myself, um, has a research center, as Mira said, at, at the Dead Sea. And a lot of that research is to do with uh, the topic of arthritis and uh, lung issues and the atmosphere where um, you, know, you, can, you can sunbathe and not get sunburnt. Um, yeah, I, 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 I has, a, has, a lot, has a lot of uh, a, a, a lot of answers to the questions that, that were asked uh, online. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 as I said, I, I prepared that. I would love to put in the presentation and show you uh, along the lungs, you know, the breathing, the lungs, all that, which is, but we don't have the time and I will be happy to share so each of you can get. The reason I didn't mention that, David, and thank you so much, it's because I wanna relay on publication that are now and that were translated already. And, and this is, so we are now in this, um, even, even with Harvard working on extremophiles to enable us to die young, not to age at all, but just to stay as we are. And whenever we go, we go. So there are a lot, but it's not ready. Therefore, I wanna talk about the safe base that we are in. And speaking about the same thing that uh, the Dead Sea Center, I just wanna say about the aging, that uh, very recently we established as a Tel Aviv University a center for healthy aging and uh, led by the vice dean of, of the medical school to be sure it could be directly moved to treatment and uh, providing a better quality of life. And that, that was just, you know, a month ago. So th this is a direction and um, as David said, I will share, it's written there, all the diseases, all the references and everything that you can see why you will feel much younger and much better to be at the Dead Sea, but not only, in Tel Aviv is not bad as well. 
So you're going to sell us all real estate, right? You have to give us a. No, a... I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, unfortunately, we're we're almost out of time already. Uh, if we could just go to each of you and ask you to tell us, you know, anything that you wanted to say that that we didn't get a chance to ask you, and then if you want to um, also just recommend anybody as an individual or as a company that would like to partner with your organization, please tell us how to do that. Rachel, you want to go first? Sure, thank you. So I know most of your audience um, is listening from Tampa where we're, we're based. So I encourage you to check out FIBA, the Florida is <clears throat> while you're here on Facebook. Uh, we have an event coming up next week on the 15th, not about aging, but about sports. Everyone I know is hungry for sports and we're gonna talk with um, representatives from the Rays and from the Magic um, and and talk about the Super Bowl and everything that fans can expect in this pandemic and how we can get back to sports safely. Great. Thanks, Mike. You want to go next? Yeah, very quickly. Um, so we have, uh, and I help lead our Office of Corporate Partnerships. We are a concierge service. So for companies in the Tampa Bay area throughout the world, but especially Tampa Bay, uh, if you want to help, uh, if you want assistance in connecting with the university for anything, it could be for interns, for hiring, for research, for whatever you're looking for, uh, please, you can contact me directly at mbloom, M-B-L-O-M, at usf.edu, and we'd be glad to help. Great. Thank you. And David, thank you for setting this up. Um, can you tell uh, can us I just say something? One yeah. sentence? I just, because uh, Raquel sent, uh, throwed me a ball. So for your, cent for your meeting next week, we have a center of sports for the elderly. And we can, uh, we can send you the speaker. Uh, and, and we did a lot of uh, nice things. And uh, as I said, also, like, like Mike said, I'm available 24 hours. I'm answering always. You see, I, I'm not sleeping. So you can approach me anytime for anything you may need. Well, Mita, I was going to let you go last because you were going to show us the beach. Can you show us that real fast? Uh, sure, sure. Wait, I have to take the to computer. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see if it works. Wait. Can we get this here house in the meantime? Do you see some? Can you see it? A little bit of blue. Yep. So people don't always people don't always realize that um, you know that Israel and specifically Tel Aviv is a Mediterranean city. So we think of you know some other places in Europe, but she gets to look at the Mediterranean Sea every day. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, and the sunsets. I can uh, send you all the pictures uh, <laughs> and what God is saying on Friday and on Sunday, which is different. And uh, <laughs> but but I, I will send you the I have in my presentation if you want. Uh, Bill, share it with everybody. Um, a real film on the Dead Sea moving, and you can feel the spirit. That's great. Okay, David, thank you for setting this up. Um, anything else you'd like to say? And also, what other partnerships do you think are possible with Tel Aviv University? Well, you know, it was very interesting when I first came up with the concept of uh, putting this MOU or partnership together. Um, it, it happened actually at FIBA, and Rachel was there um, giving one of her. Um, uh, uh, informational talks to the cohort of Israeli companies that were there. And I was touring an Israeli, an Israeli uh, Tel Aviv University representative through. And Rachel asked the question, how many people here have some connection to Tel Aviv University? Every single person put their hand up. They, their their uh, wife went to the Tisch School of Film there, or they did an undergraduate degree. And I said, wow, this, this is an opportunity to pull Tampa, USF, and Tel Aviv University together. And that's sort of my way of tying the bow. Great, well, thank you so much. And <clears throat> to everybody watching, uh, whether you're watching uh, live or later, please hit the share button and share it with your friends and family. Del, you wanna wrap us up? Well, this was very interesting. I think we have another program here just on the Dead Sea Center and the research is coming out of that and what they're finding. So I just, let's schedule that in the future. Tomorrow, I'm ready. <laughs> I want to go. All right, well, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for getting together. Thanks for David for organizing this. And thank you to Mira for uh, calling in live from uh, Tel Aviv, especially on a Friday. Um, uh, please keep us posted. We look forward to having you all again soon. Take care. Thank you very much. Thank you.